Camp is great. You know, every camp, uh, I've always said this throughout my career, it's not about who my opponent is. It's about how can I get better from event to event, from week to week, from day to day. So we've been playing a lot of that to like the, the stab and then here to the hand fight. You know, right here, I'm, I'm up in Toronto with uh, Bazooka Joe Valtellini and it doesn't get much better than that. So, you know, always trying to add pieces to my game and level up my skills. And just see how I don't stop that beat. He's definitely a different martial artist. He's, he's like a, I can see how he improved much, get, getting better and better. Every time that he come here, he's a different, different athlete, different martial artist. He's, he's been amazing. Day one is always a fun one because it's getting reintegrated into the bazooka system. So it's uh, taking the stuff I remembered from last time, trying to integrate it, and then learning that next level. It's always taking a step up. Um, always like whenever I go anywhere really like any training session is putting on the white belt right empty cup mentality I feel like a lot of times when you see champions across all platforms they hold so tightly that world title and then they've hit that high and then they go in their next fight and they lose a fight they should have won so in my opinion I'm still on the hunt I'm still fighting I'm not defending my title I'm winning another title and that's what we're gonna see you know come April 1st I'm not always a huge fan of rematches, but at the pro level when, you know, you're the champion, you don't get to choose who's next. So uh, I think it's appropriate for him to be next in line. He had a great knockout in his last fight. So if he's the one who's next, then that's what we're going to do. I hope he goes training hard. You know, I know he had some injuries after his last fight, but uh, I'm looking forward to another great fight with a well-conditioned, you know, better conditioned Igor. I don't believe at all that our last fight was a fluke. I'm really not concerned about that. We've already moved on you know, long past that. So if he's still focused on what happened in that last fight, then he's in a lot of danger moving forward. Last fight was June of last year, and uh, we were hoping to get on one of the Karate Combat cards towards the end of the year, but couldn't find an appropriate opponent. So since then, it's just been staying in shape, leveling up. Ross looks great, man. Ross is always training. Ross is always in shape. He looks strong, and he's uh, more than ready to defend his title. You know, now that we're adding knees to the rule set, I've been developing all different setups and ways to bring knees back into my game. Obviously, in my previous career before Karate Combat, I was able to throw knees, and we took them out. So now getting a chance to add them back in has been... Uh, an awesome piece of my training and we have a lot of new opportunities to show off some skills that we've developed and we're excited to let that loose in the pit. Different, different. I think there's equal pressure for every fight. Again, I don't look at any fight, whether it's a championship fight, a contender fight, a defense. Uh, a fight is a fight. There's no additional pressure for me. Again, I just focus on getting better and better each day and uh, the rest will take care of itself. In this weight class in karate combat, the competition is catching up to me. So as long as I continue to learn and grow from fight to fight, I'm gonna be hard to stop. Thanks for watching, I'm Layla, and if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.